Welcome back to the second part of our speaking contest. Uh, this will be the grade two students. Uh, from now on, all the students have chosen their own topics and they have written their own speeches. Uh, the speeches must be between two to three minutes and I think all of the grade two students have been up here before. So this isn't new to them, but they're still go probably going to be nervous. Yes, this was uh, very challenging for them because for many of them, uh, it was the first time they had to write something so long and think creatively and create their own stories. Uh, so they did a very, very good job. Okay, we'd like to invite uh, Austin up. Hello everyone, my name is Austin. My speech is all the things I want to do. There are three things I want to do when I grow up. First, I want to go on a trip to Japan. Then, I would like to go to space. Lastly, I want to become an eye doctor and do eye surgeries to help people. I want to go to Japan for 10 days because I want to make sure I finish doing everything I want. Last time I went to Japan with my family. We only went for eight days. I could not eat all the food I want to eat and could not buy a lot of things. When I go again, I want to eat a lot of sushi because it is yummy. I will buy many candies and cookies and buy toys so that I can play with my brother. I will go to Disneyland to go to Hunter House. My mom is very scared of it because there are zombies and skeletons inside. Next, I want to go to space to see an alien. If I see one, I will play and fight with it. I will also like to go to the sun and see the cool big fire explosion it has. I wish I could fly into space and see the stars. If I could touch a star, I will take it home or show my teacher. They will like it because it will be very bright. Lastly, I would like to be a doctor because I could help everyone and got a lot of money. With that money, I will buy a big house and go to space. When I can finally do everything I want, I will be really happy, especially if I can see an alien one day. Thank you for listening. Hello everybody, my name is Brayden. I am from Dubi. My speech is If I Had Three Wishes. There is the story called Aladdin, where a man named Aladdin finds a magic lamp with a genie in it. In the story, the genie gives him three wishes. It could be anything he wanted. If I got those three wishes, I would keep them until I was older to make my wishes. My first wish would be to be would be to be very 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 rich. If I had a lot of money, I would buy a big building and each of my family could live on a different floor. <coughs> I would also give money to people that don't have houses so they can have a place to live. I would build many companies that make televisions, light bulbs and cars. That way, I could get more money and I could give people who work for me more money too. My second wish would be to let my family stay alive for 2 million years. If I could live for 2 million years, I would be able to see my great, great, great grandsons. I would also have a lot of time to go and play at the playground. And when I am finally very old, maybe there will be someone. Who will, who will have invented some medicine to let people live forever by then? But I think that would still be impossible. My third wish is to have all kinds of cars like Benz, BMW, and Volkswagen. All the cars will be able to drive themselves. If there are people who want to hurt me, I'd be safe because they would not know which car was mine. My cars will be able to fly in the air too. So that when it gets stuck in the mud, it could just it can just fly up like a helicopter. I could also use my car to fly into space and go to the moon for free. Those are the things I want to do when I grow up. 
I think that I could make them happen without any wishes. If there are more genies, I could make even more wishes and even give them to my classmates. Thank you for listening. Hello everyone, my name is Eden. My speech is about the superpowers that I want to have. You can see superheroes in movies and comic books. Spider-Man can shoot webbing. The Flash can run very, very fast. The Hulk is very strong and gets stronger when he is angry. I will now tell you about the superpowers that I want to have. Invisible means other people can see you. If I was invisible, I would sneak up on people because it's funny. Maybe they would think it's a ghost. This would be very fun. The invisible woman of the Fantastic Four could become invisible. She will use it to sneak up on bad guys. I think it would be cool to make multiples of myself. Making multiples means you can have many you. If I could make multiples, I would tell the other me to help me do everything. I could play many games with other me. If I am sleeping, another me could sleep and I would go to play. My dad wouldn't snow because I would have another me in my bed. Multiple men could make multiples, but he's a bad guy. He's just by himself and heroes are always after him. Facing would be very fun. Facing means to go through things. If I could face, I would go into the wall to see what's inside. I would never hit things. I could poke my head through the wall to see what they are doing on the other side. Kitty Pride of the X-Men could face. She can pass through anything as long as she holds her breath. If she passes through a person, they will fall asleep. And if she passes through machines, they will explode or stop working. This would be amazing. I think it would be cool if I had superpowers. I could be a good guy or a bad guy. I could help people or I could steal things and make myself rich. What would you want to do? Thank you for listening. Hello everyone, my name is Frankie. My speech is if I had magic pen. Magic has endless possibilities. Good magic could help people. Bad magic could kill a man. Magic can do anything. Imagine that you have the magic pen. What could it do? If I had magic pen, it would make real things. It would always be right and it would have magic eraser. My magic pen would make real things. I could draw an iPhone on paper and then have the real iPhone. I would always have the new iPhone. When I get hungry, I could draw food. I would always eat hot and yummy food. Yummy! I could draw a door to go anywhere. I would draw a door in my room and then walk in. And then I would be in school. I would never be late. My magic pen would always be right. I would always get 100 on my quizzes. I would always know how to play every game. I, my magic pen would also know how to write in English. My magic pen could answer any question. My parents would ask me for lottery numbers and win lots of money too. My magic eraser could clean anything. The magic eraser could erase magic pen and add anything else. My magic eraser would always be the same because it would never run out. My magic eraser could clean my house and my clothes. It would be the best eraser ever. 
a magic pen would. A magic, a magic pen has so many possibilities. If I had a magic pen, it would be able to make real things, always write, and it would have magic eraser. I could have anything I want and never have to work. Having a magic pen would make life so easy. Thank you, everybody. Hello, everyone. My name is Howard. My speech is If I Became Invisible. Have you ever want to be invisible? I think everyone would want to be invisible. If someone could make the water run in Korean and turn invisible, wouldn't you drink it? If I became invisible, then no one could see me. I could go anywhere. I could scare people. Being invisible, no one could see me. One day, my mom was wondering where I am and worried. So she asked that the dad wouldn't know. Then I would talk and dad and mom could be scared. They would say, who's talking? I said, it's me, and I guess I'm invisible. I would go to school, and the teacher wouldn't know where I am. So she called my mom. Mom would tell that I am invisible. Then my teacher would know I would be very happy. I would go to the city and not tell my mom because she couldn't see me. I would go to watch movies and not pay money because no one could see me. After watching a movie, I would go to the bookstore. I would pick a good book and not play because no one could see me. I can get everything for free. At night, my mom and dad are asleep. So I would go outside to scare people. I would go to school, shops, and the city. It would be fun to scare people. In the morning, my dad and mom wake up. I would hide in the bathroom and dad would come and want to brush his teeth. I would scare him, and he would run out of the bathroom. Ah! It would be fun to scare people. I want to be in the world because it would be so interesting if I became in the world. Then no one could see me. I could go anywhere. I could scare people. To be invisible is very cool because we all see things of our eyes. What do you think of someone you couldn't see? I want to be invisible and find out. Thank you for listening. Hello everyone. My name is Jenna. My piece is called My Pet. Many black pets, some pet dogs, cats, birds or fish as pets. All pets can be good, but they'll have different problems. Dogs and cats may be dirty. Eww. Snakes may bite you. Birds are noisy and you can't play with fish. I will tell you about my pet. I have a pet now. It's called Glove. I like it because it is cute, brown, and it is little like my loving gut. It sits in a jar. And it eats vegetables. We feed it all kinds of vegetables. It always eat very fast. I need to clean it poop out of the jar. It's disgusting. So I try to ask my mom and dad to do it for me. I like my snack, but now I'm sad. My mom said it grew too fast. So we went to the park and let it go. My neighbor and Nelly has a pet dog called Becky. He is very smart. He barks at strangers, but he never barks at me. Even if he doesn't see me, he knows it's me. He is always happy when I come back. He will shake his tail, but he hates me. I always take walk to sit. I will run and he will chase me. We are good friends. If I have a pet dog, I would run the food dog. I like it because it is cute and has curly hair. It is so small, I could carry it with me when I go out. I could play with it and sleep with it too. But it would be bad if they poop on my bed. This can also be messy, may run away, and may always play in the mud. 
bones, I say you buy two char, you will not do bad things. I want to name it Ali because I think the name is cute. I want a pet, but my mom and dad said no. They are afraid I will not keep up after it. Maybe when I'm older, my mom will let me have a pet. I will keep asking until she says yes. Thank you for listening. Hello everyone, my name is Melody. My speech is my best friend. My best friend is Kaya. I met her at school. She is tall with big eyes. I don't know why we talk, and I don't know how we became friends, but that's okay. We are really good friends now. We see each other at school every day and do everything together. I like her very much, and my mom likes her too. When she comes to my house, my mom always makes us cookies. One of my favorite things to do with Kaya is talking. We tell each other many little secrets all the time. We tell each other things that other people don't know. I always tell her my little sister is so bad. She is so noisy. Talking with Kaya makes me feel happy because she's like big sister to me. When I am sad, she tells me funny things that make me feel happy again. When we are at school, we also like to play a lot of games together. School is not just a place to go study. We like to play tag with a lot of friends, like Penny, Alice, Isa, and Trista. We also like to do some sports, like play tennis. I am better than Kaya at tennis, but we still have fun together. Outside of school, I like to go shopping with Kaya. We also like the same kind of clothes and shoes. We also love to buy colorful pants. Sometimes we can take a long time, but sometimes we don't because Kaya has to go English class on Saturdays. There are many things I like to do with Kaya besides talking, playing sports and games and going shopping, but it is too long to ride about. When we go on to junior high school, I hope we can still be in the same school. If we are not, then we can still use Line or Facebook to talk to each other. Thank you for your listening. Hello, everyone. My name is Queenie. I am from Two Cans. Today, I will tell you about my three wishes. What would you do if you had three wishes? You could have superpowers. These superpowers could be invisibility, flight, strength, or talking to animals. You could also choose to grow up very fast. Or you could wish for a Doraemon. Here are my wishes. If I have three wishes, I would like a lot of money. If I have a lot of money, I would buy a bigger house with a library. I could read or write my homework there. I would help old and poor people too. I would give them money for food or new clothes. I hope them can be happy. I would also have anything I want, like going to an amusement park to play. I would also go to eat buffet a lot. My second wish would be to do things very fast. If I could do things very fast, I could run very fast too. So I would win the running race and always win the speed games. Everything would be free too, because I can get in and out very fast before anyone saw me. I should get to school faster, and I could sleep more so I'm not as tired. My third wish is to be very smart. Because let's go would be easy. My quiz would always be 100% and I could help my friends with homework. This would also help me get a good job when I'm older. I could learn everything quickly and easily and do anything I want. I hope these directions can come true because my life would be much easier. They could give me a lot of time to do other things. You can wish for anything, but these are my wishes. Thank you for listening. Hello everyone, my name is Tommy. 
My speech is in bike fly. One morning, I open the window. I see a bird, a bee, and an eagle flying in the sky. I think to myself, why a bird, a bee, and an eagle fly, but not me? Nobody can fly, just a few animals can. We can fly only in planes and helicopters. That is why I want to fly. If I could fly, I could see any things, play many games, and go anywhere. I could see any things I want by flying. I could take pictures on the clouds. That is cool because only I could take pictures. I could take pictures on Taipei One One One, but Taipei One One is too high, so I think I would be scared. I could take pictures on roof or anywhere. I could play anywhere. I could play. I could fly very high to play with eagle. I could go an eagle's nest and see baby eagles. I could play with clouds. I could sit on one or jump on one or stand on one. I would be great at basketball because I could fly and nobody could touch the ball. So I just dunk the ball and nobody would even want to play with me. I could go anywhere. I could fly to school and get there in just one second. I would not be. I would never be late to school. I would not be tired either. I could go on top of mountain and never need roads. It would be very fast, and I never stuck in traffic. I could go to Japan and never need plans or money. I would travel to many plans. I won't fly like. Birds and plants. If I could fly, I could see anything, play many games, and go anywhere. I could take beautiful pictures, be great at basketball, and never be late to school. I could do and see things not no one else could. Flying to let me see things in a whole new way. Thank you for listening. Hello, everybody. My name is Wei. I'm from Tuvi. My speech is: If I had a magic pen, if there really was a magic pen, I would like to have it. I would use it very carefully and be good with it, because there would only be one in the world. I wouldn't want to break it. No one would know it was magical. Not even my, not even my mom and dad. My pen would be able to change sizes. I turn it really small and hide it in my hair. This way, nobody would be able to steal it and do bad things with it. The pen would look like a normal pen and have my name written on it. It'd be long and white and very good for writing. My pen wouldn't just be able to turn big or small. It would also be able to change shapes. It'd be able to turn into me, and I'd make it go to my school for me. In the afternoon, it will eat my lunch at school, so I can go out to eat pizza. Oh, it's finished all my work. If I don't know how to write a poem, it will write one for me. If I am busy, sleepy, or feeling lazy, it will help me do my Chinese homework, so I can go play. Yeah, I think that doing homework is. I think that doing homework is boring and playing is fun. If I had a magic pen, I wouldn't just make it finish my schoolwork. I'd use it to draw a lot of things because they'd be able to become real. If I draw or write my wish, it would really come true. So if I write that I want to be rich, it would really happen. I'd use it to draw a lot of money and use it to buy the pizzas that I like. As time goes by, I would learn to control the pen better and better. I use the pen responsibly because I know what I'd be allowed to do and what I'd not be allowed to do. If you do bad things with your pen, the magic will go away. But if you use it right, the pen will upgrade itself. So I will make sure I use it carefully. Thank you for listening.
Hello everyone, my name is Sir. My speech is my brother. I am the only girl in my family. I don't have any sisters, but I have a little brother. Sometimes he is me, and sometimes he can be good. He likes to hit me when he wants something that I have and he cannot get. But he sometimes is nice to me too. When I cry, he comes to make me feel better. Sometimes he also shares his toys and food with me. Before my brother was born, I always do everything by myself. I would always go to my grandmother's house to eat, watch TV, and play. They sometimes took me on trips to Hornet. They also take me to school. After my brother was born, I had to do everything with him. My brother's name is Ricky. He is five years old. He is four years younger than me. He wears little glasses and is very cute. He has a little nose and big head. He is funny because when he dreams about something good during his sleep, he will laugh. He dreams about something bad, he will cry all night. Sometimes I wish I didn't have a brother. I have to share the toys with him. But he is not always bad. He makes me laugh when I feel sad. He does funny dance and hit his bum bum when we laugh. On the weekends, we also play Uno and some other table games together. Even though something, sometimes I hope my brother is annoying, but I still like him. But I still like him. I hope he grows up, he can find a lot of new friends to play with. I also hope he could be rich. He could help who don't have, have money and buy them coats. He also can buy me all the things I want. Thank you for listening.